cute. So it's gonna be like rose gold, copper, and concrete, and white. Looks good in my head. I hope it looks good when it comes out. table into a concrete and white desk for my office I've been dying for new desk accessories I haven't really found anything that I really liked and I really wanted to create some things that were really inexpensive to make and that really made an impact and all kind of matched each other and went with the vibe that I want in the office so today we are going to be DIYing a few desk accessories that you can do that are super easy and super cheap probably already have some items in your house that you can turn into these because I don't know about you but I need the atmosphere and the place that I'm in and that I'm working in and creating in to be inspiring and if it's not nothing good comes out of it so I need it to be cute I need it to be inspiring I need it to be well put together and I mean I need it to be clean but let's be honest DIY projects make a really big mess so whatever we'll deal with it so if you haven't already watched the ikea hack where i turned a basic black table into a concrete and white desk for my office you have to go watch it i'll link it in the down bar below so you can check it out and all of these diy desk accessories that we're going to be doing today are going to be going on that desk so be sure to check it out and let's get started First we're going to be making a pin board with some cute LED lights. What you're going to need is a canvas, some acrylic paint, a paintbrush, some washi tape, mini clothes pins, and a battery powered strand of LED lights. First we're going to start off by painting our canvas all white using the acrylic paint. And I realize that this is kind of silly because the canvas is already white, but it's not the white that I want. and. Painting it white and using short brush strokes will give it a lot of texture and make it look more finished and more polished than just using a canvas as it's bought from the store. While our canvas is drying, we're going to be decorating our mini clothes pens with some rose gold patterned washi tape. Using washi tape is super simple and a lot easier than painting. So I just picked up these cute rose gold washi tapes from the store and I'm going to pick out the patterns that I like most and we're going to apply them directly to one side of the clothes pens and just trim at the end. Next, after our canvas is all dry, we're going to be hot gluing our LED strand lights to the canvas and making kind of a zigzag design across the front, hot gluing to the back of the canvas so you don't see where the hot glue is. And this is going to be really tight on the front of the canvas so that we can make sure that it's going to hold anything that we're going to be pinning up on our board. So first you're going to hot glue the battery pack to the back of the canvas, kind of hidden and flush. And you wanna make sure that you can still open the battery pack to change out the batteries when they die. Um, so make sure that you're putting it the right way. I almost messed up. And then you're gonna start by hot gluing the first strand to the back of the canvas. And then once that's set and dry, flip it over and continue to crisscross evenly spacing your strands and hot gluing to the back.
Next, we're going to be making our cell phone stand, and what you're going to need are two flat pieces of wood and a square cube. First, we're gonna start off by cutting one of our flat pieces of wood into a long strip that's half an inch wide. We're gonna do that two times. Then we're going to cut each strip again into inch long rectangles. Once you cut all of your pieces, we're gonna be sanding down the edges to get some clean lines and get rid of any splinters that there may be left over from cutting. Next, we're going to be applying them to the front of our second piece of wood, and this will create the cradle for our phone. First, we're going to sandwich and glue two of the pieces together to make a thicker look. I just liked it better that way. So you're gonna take your craft bond glue and a paintbrush and completely cover one side of each of the pieces of wood and then sandwich them together, pressing down pretty hard to make sure that the bond sets correctly and set them aside to dry. Next, we're going to be gluing our small glued sandwich pieces onto the front of our flat piece of wood, making sure we leave enough space in the middle for a charger so your phone can be plugged in when it's sitting in the cradle. So just take some craft bond glue and a paintbrush and wipe the glue on the back side of the sandwich pieces and press down firmly about an inch above the bottom of the solid piece of wood and do the same on the other side. Next, we're going to be applying our back support rest to our stand. So we need to cut it at an angle in order for our phone to lay back at the right degree. So you're gonna take your saw, and what I love about the saw is that the grooves actually will allow you to cut on an angle. So I'm gonna use the first angle, which is 22 degrees, and simply cut the cube all the way through. Just like before, we're gonna sand down the flat side that we just cut so that there's no splinters and we have a smooth edge to glue onto the back of our stand. Next, we're gonna position our cut cube towards the bottom of our stand and then we're going to glue it in place using the same craft bond glue and hold in place until it's set and dries. Next, we're gonna be painting our stand white. So you're just gonna go over the entire stand, front and back, with some white acrylic paint or whatever color that you want your stand to be, and then let it dry. After the base is all dry, I wanted to create a triangular shape using the metallic rose gold paint to match our other accessories. So I'm just gonna use some blue painter's tape and pretty much cover all of the areas that I don't want metallic gold. So I'm just gonna create kind of a diamond shape down, pointed down towards the bottom and just cover everything else up. After we have everything covered up that we don't want painted, we're gonna be taking some rose gold metallic spray paint and shake it up really well and then just spray, spray, spray. After the spray paint is all dry, we can simply remove the painter's tape to reveal our design. Next, we're gonna be making some book covers, and I love to have books on my desk 
but most of the time they don't look very pretty together. So this is an easy way to make them all match and keep them on your desk in a visually pleasing way. So I'm gonna take some drawing paper and kind of map out and measure out exactly where I need to cut my paper in order to cover the front and back of the book completely, as well as leave about four inches on each side to go inside the front and back cover of the book. And if you've ever covered books in school, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Simply lay your book on top, matching up the top and bottom edges, and then fold in the corners about four inches on each side so that it's snug on the book. Simply covering it wasn't quite enough for me, so I wanted to add a little design to the binding of the book. So I'm taking some white acrylic paint and painting about a five inch strip down the center of the paper because the drawing paper that I'm using is actually kind of a white gray. So I thought maybe adding the white paint would give a nice color and texture change to the middle of the book. Next, I wanted to bring in a similar design to our closed pins with the rose gold washi tape. And I'm just gonna kind of create a diagonal crisscross design on the bottom edge of the book so that they're all my books are a little different um, but they have a similar pattern to make it really pretty when they're sitting next to each other on the desk. And for our final and my favorite piece, we're gonna be marbleizing a white mouse pad for the desk. So simply add water to a plastic pan that you have at home. And then we're going to be adding in a variety of different mediums like nail polish and white acrylic paint and also our same metallic spray paint that we've been using for our other projects. And you're just going to pour it in. Use whatever design you want. Um, you can get creative. You can mix it around with a stick if you want more of a spiral look and just layer them in until you get the look that you want. Once you're done layering in all of your paint, you're gonna flip your mouse pad over and dip it right into your design, pushing it down into the paint and then lift up. And, ugh, so cool. So you're gonna move your water out of the way and put it on a flat surface to dry. And then what we're gonna do is use a sponge to kind of pat down any of the elevated paint where it's thicker so that we have a smoother surface to our, for our mouse to go over when you're using your computer. We did it! So if you guys liked these desk accessories and you want to come up with your own, there's tons of different things that you can do. These are just my favorite and some things that were really practical for me and that I needed for my desk, but you can do this in any way. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up below. And if you want to follow along on my complete renovation, you have to be sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post videos every week and it's all gearing up to get to a point where my office is the office and guest room 
of my dreams that I never want to leave. So if you want to follow along, hit the subscribe button below, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys. We're going for like a rose gold, coppery, metallic vibe. Yeah, I think it's going to be cute. <laughs> What are you eating? Kinsley? Kinsley! God, she eats everything.